there and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be playing around with some makeup these are products that I have been wanting to try out for so long some of the products I've literally been wanting to try out for years and one of the products is one that I'm just like really excited to try also just to mention that I have just filmed a first impression on the Maybelline Superstay stick foundation so feel free to let me know in the comments what you think of it because you know I always appreciate your feedback I'm not quite sure when that video will be going up or if it has already gone up but I would still really appreciate your feedback so please feel free to tell me what you think. So to begin the video today we are going to be trying out a product that I have literally been lusting over for so long. So I treated myself to a mini kind of trio of the Stila Glitter and Glows. If you've watched my channel before or if you follow me on Instagram you're probably aware that this is like one of my favourite products ever. I currently have two shades, well I have five now, I mean really, um, smouldering satin and I also have retro rose gold. I love those two but the one that I have been like super like always intrigued to try is Diamond Dust which is one of the ones that I got in here. Um, I got this little um, kind of mini set from Beauty Bay for £29. It's been sold out for ages. So as soon as I, I saw that it had come back, I was like, yes, bitch, yes. I would really recommend this as well. If you've not tried any, any of the glitter and glows and you're interested to try them, this will be a really, really great set to pick up. The full sizes cost £23 and as I said this is £29. You get to try out three different shades. These are three of their kind of iconic original shades. So you've got Diamond Dust which is the silvery one, got Kitten Karma in the middle and Gold Goddess at the end. I mean all three I've I wanted to try but no, none more than Diamond Dust. I mean really it's been all about the double D, the Diamond Dust. I've always wanted a double D and now I have a double D. You get 0.07 fluid ounces in each one and admittedly like they do look really really tiny which I don't know how many wears you're going to get out of this. Just kind of give you a side by side comparison you can definitely see there's a massive massive difference. I'd say just kind of eyeballing them side by side you're probably getting like definitely less than half of what you would get in the uh, kind of full size product. But one thing to mention is that a little goes a long way with this. I remember when I first saw the size of the full size and I was thinking oh my gosh like you don't seem to get a lot but you only need the tiniest amount of product so I do find that they do last like really really well so there's that you know I'm going to swatch all three but we're going to apply diamond dust to the eyes I feel like even on Steeler's official website the swatches just do not do any justice whatsoever to how glittery and just all-round sensational these look on your eyes. I just feel like every single swatch really that I've ever seen anywhere just does not really do it justice. But I mean, I'm gonna do swatches now and probably not do it justice. I mean, just looks so pretty because it's got like multicolored glitters in there. I think predominantly you've got like silver and purpley kind of glitters, but I can even see like blue glitters in there as well, which, is just a sensational. Next we've got Gold Goddess. I don't feel like I'm getting a lot actually, you know, on my little doe foot. Okay, so that one is a Gold Goddess. Got little um, kind of gold and silver glitters in there. Okay, so this one is Kitten Karma. Definitely more rose gold. It does look a little bit like rose gold retro, but that one is more peach. And this one is more gold. You know when you've just been eyeing up a product for so long and every time you go into the store you swatch it and you just kind of look at it with lust in your eyes. That's like what how it's been with this so I'm so excited. Right I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to apply. I don't feel like I'm picking up a lot of the product on the actual doe foot um, which is a little bit of a pain in the ass. Oh, but you know what? I can see all the different colours of glitter just coming to life and beaming out of my eyelid. OK, 
Okay, so there we go. <gasps> oh, and she is every inch as sensational as I was hoping for. The thing that really like just makes these products so special is just that sheer amount of glitter and sparkle that you that you get from it is so easy to apply it dries down so so quickly and it doesn't budge all day so the formula is well worth paying you know that extra bit of money for in my opinion because i've tried tons of you know glittery kind of liquid eyeshadows in my time but none have just been as as superior a formula as this one i think with the glitter and with like a glitter eye product you really want to have that reassurance that it's going to just stay in place all day and not end up all over your face and vagina and this product definitely definitely gives you the confidence that it's not going to move it just looks as beautiful at the end of the day as it does when you first apply it i get so many compliments whenever i wear my smoldering satin one um even men compliment me and they don't really notice makeup that often so it really is an eye-catching beautiful product i just love it and I'm diamond oh hello little one how are you oh very nice gorgeous yeah, and I do think that Diamond Dust is definitely, definitely on par with what I expected it to be. I was worried, was it going to live up to my outrageously high expectations? But it definitely has. And I think the thing that really makes this a quite a unique look is that it does have all those different sh like shades of glitter in there that you probably can't see unfortunately but you've got like little purple glitters i feel like there's even green glitters in there blue glitters it's just so good i just love it so i oh my gosh so i'm so happy with that i'm gonna go ahead do the other eye and then we'll move on to the next product Okay, so now that I've done my eyes and I'm absolutely loving them, like I, I love it so much, we're going to move on to the lips and we're going to be trying out one of the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lip... No, it's not liquid lipstick. I'm so used to saying liquid lipstick. It's not. It's just a, a lipstick. It's a, li a lipstick. It's fabulous, but it's a lipstick. So this is in the shade... What shade is it? I have no idea. Okay, so this is in the shade Bear It All. The reason why I've been so desperately keen to try this out is because so many people have said that it's a really good dupe for Velvet Teddy by MAC, which is one of my favourite lipsticks of all time. So this is what it looks like, which is a very kind of autumnal, kind of burnt, brownie red kind of shade. I think it looks really beautiful. Should we do a little swatch? Oh my gosh, okay oh guys look at that oh my gosh it's so gorgeous but do you know what it actually reminds me of faux by mac because it's a little bit more pink than brown whereas i feel like velvet teddy is a little bit more of like a ready brown this is definitely a lot more like faux but let's try it on the lips and see Yes. Yes, guys. I mean, I don't think it's a dupe for Velvet Teddy at all. But, I mean, either way, I love it. I think it went on beautifully, very creamy and smooth. It feels great on my lips. It feels very comfortable. It's not matte, but at the same time, it's not kind of glossy or shiny. It looks to be more of a kind of satin finish. I really like it. And, oh, my God, it on my teeth. Oh, gosh. Oh. So in terms of like the formula, it does remind me a little bit of the Satin Formula by MAC. I think it looks good, it feels good, it applied nicely, um, and it cost £3 or maybe £4. But either way, it was under £5. I got this from Beauty Bay because they've just started to stock Wet n Wild. And yeah, I mean, I'm really, really impressed with it. I really like it. So this one is Bear It All. Maybe I made a mistake. Like Maybe this wasn't the Velvet Teddy dupe i don't know i'm gonna have to like double check that but anyway i mean i really like it 
Okay, so next we are going to be trying another Wet n Wild product. This one is their colour icon bronzer and it's in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. When this turned up, I was flabbergasted. Like, well, maybe not flabbergasted, probably just being a little bit over dramatic there, but it looks so light. Like, I had to actually check, is this, is this a bronzer? Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to open it. Look, this is it. That how how is this a bronzer? I feel like my face is darker than this. It definitely is. Like, but it does say, look, bronzer. But this is it. It looks so light. So I don't even know anymore what life is. Um, if I do a swatch, that's not fucking bronzer. Have they got the wrong shade? Like, have they sent me the wrong product? Like it because I don't know how could this be bronzer. Like, right, look. That's, that's not a bronzer. This isn't a bronzer for anyone. Look at that. They made a mistake or either like maybe this one just went wrong. I feel like this didn't work how it should have done because this, this is, uh, that's not a bronzer, is it guys? That to me looks like a very pale, like setting powder. So, but, I mean, do you know what? Let's just, we'll go with it. Like if you've tried Reserve Your Cabana, could you tell me like, is this how it looks? like the the fairest of all fair setting powders because I don't know in what world this is a bronzer I just and I never thought I'd hear myself say that but do you know what we're gonna just we're gonna just uh go with it and just give it a go and see what happens but I just uh, okay so I'm gonna just do what I would usually do and just like apply this so but Pop a little bit around the top of the forehead. Unless it is just designed for like super fair skinned people, but like if you look at me applying it, it just looks like I'm applying, uh, you know, a lighter setting powder to my face. By the way, I feel like my face is just oxidizing by the second. I'm not really liking this foundation at this point. My face does not look good. Um, in all honesty, so I was hoping a bit of bronzing might help a little bit, but I don't think I'm going to get any bronzing today. Right, are you ready for this? So I've got some on my brush. I mean, guys, nothing, no, there's nothing, there's nothing. Is this a joke? Like, is this some sort of a sick joke that Wet n Wild and Beauty Bay thought they would pull on me? This is not bronzer. Like, what? 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 Okay, so this is one of my favourite bronzers ever. This is the Dolce de Leche contouring uh, duo. And this is also by Wet n Wild. Look, so the, the Reserve Your Cabana, it looks more like the highlighting side of my duo. This is not a fucking bronzer. This is not a fucking bronzer. What the fuck is this? Why are you here? Like, why are you doing this to me right now? This, I'm going to complain. I'm... I'm definitely complaining about this and I don't normally complain because I just can't be asked most of the time but this has got me to the point where I'm going to complain I don't think this is right I don't think that this would suit anyone as a bronzer as a fecking bronzer no I would throw it behind me if I didn't want to get a refund for it okay so do you know what I'm just going to use my Dolce de Leche, which never lets me down, and uh, we're going to move on to the next product. But I'm just going to go away and actually bronze my fucking face. See, that's what a bronzer does. This is what a bronzer does. Fucking bronzes. What the fuck? Okay, so I've applied some actual bronzer to my face. Uh, guys, I like. I can't tell you how disappointed I am with Reserve Your Cabana. I'm just, after I film this video, I'm gonna be going online and checking out swatches and actual images of it because I can't, like, actually, do you know what? Why wait? Why wait? Let's do it now. Let's have a look. Let's see. Have I been thoroughly ripped off? Reserve your fucking cabana. Mm. Okay, let's have a look. I mean, it does look light. I mean, it does. Like, but why? Like, why is this a bronzer? Why is it a bronzer? And I don't want to offend anyone who's got like, 
fair skin who this works for like I don't want to be offending anyone but to me I think it's because I've never been faced with a bronzer that seems too light this whole situation is just outrageous to me because I've never met a bronzer that's been too light but apparently this is it this is it this is like look people are saying yes this is it She looks super happy with it. She's so happy with it. She's loving it. But I don't see any bronze on her face. Like, I don't see any bronze on her face. But she's loving it. She loves it. Fair play to her. I wish I loved mine too. But I don't. I mean, yeah, okay. So, apparently, that's it. But I still feel like I've been thoroughly ripped off. Because... Mm. Okay, so next we're going to be trying out a product by You Can Be. If you're not familiar with You Can Be, they are a supremely affordable but pretty unknown brand. They sell their products on AliExpress, eBay, Amazon. I did recently do a video testing out a bunch of their products. Um, they sent me over a load to try. And this is one of the five colored like metallic eyeliners they sent i tried out the purple one in the testing out you can be makeup video but i was so keen to try out this beautiful kind of teal colored one so i thought today it might be a really good opportunity to try it because look at it it's beautiful the formula of the purple one was also like so so good waterproof long lasting didn't budge and also like really really easy to apply with the super fine tip I love a super fine tip mm, that's why I say to honeys every night honeys I love your super fine tip <laughs> honeys is gonna hate me but anyway guys so I'm just gonna apply this so we can see how sassy she is <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I love it. It's everything I expected it would be and more. I did do my little wing a little bit high up, like it's a bit pointy. Um, he's reaching for the stars. But do you know what? Oh my gosh, it's absolutely gorgeous. <gasps> oh, hubba, 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 hubba. Mm -mm -mm. And I've forgotten all about the disappointment at the Reserve Your Cabana because this is so good. Let's do the other eye. I need to, I need to match this one. So he's also going to have to be reaching for the stars. Also, a lot of you guys have commented on how much my eyeliner like wing skills have improved. And yes, like I definitely feel like I'm kind of mostly a lot better but believe me it's so hit or miss the days that i have good days and i'm like okay i can leave the house with this wing and there's other days which is still quite many a few many days and a what a lot of days where i'm just like oh my gosh i'm when hang your head in shame that's not good but um oh this eyeliner is beautiful i'm just gonna go in and refine Oh, God, get a load of that, guys. Get a load of that. These are beautiful. They cost, I think it's something like £1.57 each. And it, they're just absolutely gorgeous. I really want them to make a baby pink one. Mm, that would just sing right out to my vagina. This one's beautiful. It applied so easily. I just love it. I think the packaging's so super cute. Oh, she's a winner, guys. She is a winner. Um, do you know what? I think I've tried all of my products. Oh my gosh, that came to an abrupt end. I was thinking I'd loads more, but I've not. So, okay, I'm just going to go away, do my mascara, because I'm not going to forget today, because I seem to have a habit of forgetting mascara. So I'm going to go apply my mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have applied my mascara, some falsies, and yeah, just to sum up, the products I've tried in the video. I love the diamond dust, exceeded all of my expectations. Can't speak. It exceeded all of my expectations. I think it's absolutely sensational. It definitely has the wow factor and I just love it. If you know of a perfect dupe for this, please let me know, but I've not found one yet. Oh my gosh, I've got my scar on my fucking face. Knocking fuck, 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 foxy do fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuck. 
I really like the lipstick. I think it's beautiful. It's a perfect kind of just everyday easy nude to wear. This will be going straight into my handbag. I love the eyeliner. Oh my gosh, so good. So, so good. I just think this is an amazing formula. It looks good, it applies well, it's just great. If you're in the market for a metallic coloured eyeliner, definitely check out You Can Be. Uh, as I said, you can find them on AliExpress, Amazon or eBay. So yeah, definitely check those out. The one product that I'll be honest, I'm a little fecked off about, because I spent my hard-earned money on it, is that fecking bronzer. And I, say bronzer in the loosest possible sense of the word and once again like as I was doing my mascara I was sat here thinking oh my gosh like I hope I didn't offend anyone like I don't want to be offen offensive to anyone by saying ah, this is so light I don't I hope that that does not offend anyone if that works for you then that's great it was just for me with my frame of references against bronzers that work for me it was didn't look like a bronzer so that's I hope that it didn't seem like I was taking the piss out of it. It just, for me, was a bit of a shock because I was like, hmm, hmm. And like when I first looked at it a couple of days ago, I was thinking, what the feck? But then like when I actually tried to apply it on my face just now, and I, I thought there's no way this is gonna actually bronze my face. But I know that it probably could bronze some people's faces, so I am so happy for you if it does. Um, but anyway, guys, before I dig a hole for myself any deeper, I'm going to go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I never say bye. I just go, bye. Why do I feel like I can't say bye at an audible volume? Bye. And then when I say it, it just sounds fecked up. That's probably why I don't say bye at uh, an audible volume, because it sounds crazy. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Bye. So we're going to begin the video with trying out a lipstick by Met... <laughs> so we're going to begin today with trying out a lipstick. This is by Wet n Wild and it's one of the mega last uh, lipsticks. I'd say just kind of eye boil... I...